So there is this moment right before you go into a crazy experience when your unconscious mind attacks you and makes you realize all the risks that you're about to take. It's only for those 90 seconds or so that you feel like backing down and not doing it. But it's really after those 90 seconds or so that adrenaline kicks in and you start living the best life. Going into a crazy adventure and living for it. I'm Gucci Visual and my passion for travel led me to incredible adventures. Exotic places is where I will go. Together with my favorite companion, we usually find ourselves connecting with nature or exploring our planet. And telling these stories is what moves me. From the great oceans to being face to face with Asian glaciers. These adventures are my life and this series is about telling you how you can also experience them. To leave your comfort zone and see the world. To inspire your inner explorer to see something epic. And the best way to do that is joining us for Adventure Travels. For us that we found some of the best crew for this adventure, including a sharp, savvy guide and a great captain that together are the best combo if you really want to meet and find sharks face to face. Part of the mission was to actually find the sharks. We started out at Riviera Beach Marina and sailed to open waters where there are two spots where the sharks might be hanging out. And to attract them, some pieces of fish were put inside a crate that would be around us and serve as a bait to get them to hang out with us. The captain spotted the sharks and let us know that they are here. So there's no more time to think or back down. We are going into the water now. As soon as I enter the water, I can feel my blood pumping and the adrenaline rushing through my veins. It's like everything else outside the water just shut it down. And it's just you and the ocean's apex predator only. your mind goes through many thoughts but I just realized that those might be misconceptions and that if you show respect to wildlife they will reciprocate
everybody. <laughs> Did you see that? to say that this experience is not for the faint of heart but if you really like adventure come and do it we've been roughly an hour or so in the water and the ocean is crazy here the boat's moving like crazy so i'm just gonna head back into the water and see what's going on in there At the end, it was time to give the sharks a well-deserved treat and let them be in the wild. Today I learned that things are usually not the way they depict in movies and TV. Mostly it's all about connection with nature. So our next stop of this adventure was merely 50 miles away, near the beautiful Fort Lauderdale Beach. So this is one of your favorite water sports or what's it like? Yeah, um, so I grew up like, you know, a lake board and everything was there. And when I first tried this, I was just so deep. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a couple years and it's a bucket list for many people. So we got our cameras ready and geared up for this amazing experience. How's that feel? Does that feel like that a nice snow? Yeah. yeah. It's the completion of two bucket list items. Check out of the list, but there's way more to come. So stay tuned. 